Greetings, fellow mathematicians. This is a really good problem because it's not obvious that this differential equation is separable, but after a little bit of work, we'll see that it is. The problem here is with the left side, this combination of x squareds and y squareds, it's not obvious how we can split that apart. So let's go ahead and try to work with that. We'll do that over to the side here. One plus x squared plus y squared plus x squared times y squared. All right, now if you think back to algebra, here we have four terms, so we might try factoring by grouping. And notice, from the last two terms, you can factor out y squared. So if you factor out y squared, you'll be left with another factor, one plus x squared. All right, so let's go ahead and drop that work down. We have one plus x squared, the first two terms, but plus now y squared times one plus x squared. All right, and to make it really obvious, let me rewrite the first two terms in parentheses with a factor of one in front. And from there, you can see that you can factor out one plus x squared, and you'll be able to completely factor those four terms. If you factor out one plus x squared, the other term that you're left with is one plus y squared. And that is the key to this differential equation being separable. So that was our left side. Let's just go ahead and rewrite that and continue. So we had this factored as one plus x squared times one plus y squared. That's multiplying dy. And we haven't done anything with the right side. We're gonna leave that right now as y squared times dx. All right, and from here, we can easily separate. Just be careful. We have our dx and dy's maybe on different sides than we're used to, but that's okay. Let me go ahead and divide the y squared over, and I'll divide one plus x squared over. So I'll write this as one plus y squared divided by y squared. And that's gonna be multiplying dy. And now we are dividing one plus x squared to the other side. And I'm just gonna switch the order of addition and write that as one divided by x squared plus one. All right, now as it turns out, the right-hand side, when you integrate that, it's actually really simple and it's a basic antiderivative, which you might have forgotten, but let's go ahead and review it. The basic antiderivative we're gonna use your antiderivative for one over x squared plus one, that comes out to inverse tangent of x. And a related version, which is good to review, which we'll state right now, is what happens if there's another number in that denominator other than one? The other more general version that you'll wanna know is it does give you an inverse tangent, but it's one over a times inverse tangent of x over a. And those are just good to know for your differential equations course. All right, so if we go to the next step and integrate both sides, the x side is actually really simple. And let's notice for integrating the left side with respect to y, if I divide, I can go ahead and get one over y squared, which I can write as y to the negative two, and then y squared divided by y squared cancels out. So let's go ahead and divide. We'll write that as one divided by y squared is y to the negative two, and then y squared divided by y squared cancels to one. All right, and now we're ready to integrate both sides. You could have done that already. I just like to include the work kind of all at the same pace as we go. Here, if we integrate, it's just the basic power rule. 
and the right side comes out to a basic inverse trig antiderivative. All right, so let's go ahead and write it out. Apply the power rule to the first term, add one to the power and then divide by the new power. You should get negative y to the negative one. The constant one just integrates to y. And when we integrate the right side, you're gonna get inverse tangent of x plus c. And you can clean this up, make it look a little bit nicer. y to the negative one, you can rewrite that as one over y, and then I'll switch the order to write the left side as y minus one over y equals inverse tangent of x plus c. And that's it. So let's just go ahead and state it clearly. The solution to our differential equation is y minus one over y equals inverse tangent of x plus c. And that's it. Now, if this one seems rather simple for you, it's probably because you're completely fine on all those fundamentals from algebra. Chances are, if you were stuck with this problem, it was probably right there, being able to factor basically the left side down to here. And that was the key for this question, being able to be solved as a separable differential equation. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, support the channel, like and subscribe.